Welcome golfers to season three, episode six of Golf Mobility Pro. Today, Lauren is gonna show you four yoga exercises that you can do on and off the golf course to make sure your body is moving and feeling well. We'll start by warming up the spine through flexion and extension. I want you to stand with your feet about hip width apart, almost like you're standing at a dress. Bring your hands to your hips or you can cross your arms over each other. Bend into your knees, make sure your feet are parallel, knees are tracking right in line with your toes. Start by finding a nice neutral spine. So your spine is long, you have a slight curve in the lower back, chest is lifted. From here, exaggerate this tilt in the lower back, pressing the tailbone back, creating an even bigger arch, and then reverse. Tuck your tailbone all the way under, scooping the belly, rounding through the spine. And again, so press it out, and then tuck it under. You can make this a little bit bigger by adding the shoulders and the upper body so you get an even bigger extension through the spine and then greater flexion as you round the shoulders, getting a stretch for the back. You'll repeat this about eight times. And then we'll move straight into our next movement. So staying in this address position, hands are on your hips. I'll turn so you can see the movement. You're going to think about pushing your feet down into the ground and then dragging them apart without moving them. You're hinging from your hips as you bend a little bit deeper into your knees. If you're feeling any knee discomfort or lower back pain, I want you to stand up a little bit taller, otherwise keep the knees bent. Chest is lifted, spine is long. From here, shift your weight over into your right leg. Hover your left foot just an inch off the ground. It helps to find a spot to focus on. And then you'll lower your left foot down, shift your weight over to the left foot, hover the right foot just an inch. You can always hold on to a chair or use a golf club for balance here. Lower the right foot down, come back to center, press the feet down, and then come all the way up. And we'll repeat that about four more times. Hey guys, my name is Pete Campman from Manhattan Woods Golf Academy. I'm gonna teach you how to fix the over the top swing today. A lot of the golfers that I work with commonly have a over the top swing, so they, their swing gets a little steep from the top and they come from the outside in. So this is a great drill for fixing that. Uh, basically, you tee up the ball as high as you can with an iron and you work on swinging more around, right? So you're trying to sweep the ball. So you're here and you're sweeping the ball, trying to just brush the top of the tee. If you do it correctly, you should just glance the top of the tee and have a nice draw to the ball. Thanks for watching this pro tip. I hope you enjoy the rest of the episode. From here, we'll continue to work on some single leg balance. I'm going to use a chair to show you how you can use something like this to help you balance, especially if you're first learning the movement. You can also hold on to a golf club for balance, or if you don't need it, you can keep your hands on your hips. Holding onto the chair with my right hand, I'm shifting my weight into my right leg, slight bend in the standing leg. I'm going to start by drawing my left knee up, foot is flexed, everything is facing forward. Start to extend the leg, sweeping it down, try not to let it touch. Lean forward as the leg sweeps back. Again, try to keep the toes pointing down so your hips aren't opening, but they're staying square. You're making a T shape with the body. Now push down through this foot to come all the way up, draw your knee up to your chest. You're welcome to repeat that movement and just work on extending through the hip, balancing on one leg. If you wanna add on though, once you get here, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, keeping a bend in your right leg, start to sit into the hips. The deeper you sit into this, the deeper the stretch on the hip is going to be. So find a spot that's comfortable for you where you can still breathe, but you're getting a nice stretch. Press down through the standing leg to come up, unwind, and you'll begin the entire sequence again. Coming up, so from the front, as you cross your leg over, ankle over thigh, sit back, push down to come up, and repeat. Now finally, we'll turn the chair around and take a nice spine stretch with a standing downward dog. So, facing the chair, you're going to step your feet a little bit wider apart than the edges of your mat. Reach your hands toward the seat of the chair, and you may need to walk your feet back further from here. Find a spot where you can extend the arms fully, and then let your chest drop down, holding here, try to keep your neck long, feeling a nice stretch for the back. Maybe you keep a bend in the knees, feeling this in the hamstrings and the shoulders. Hold this for about three to five breaths. And then when you're ready to come out, gently lift your chest, walk your feet back toward the chair, and slowly stand up, and you're done. 
If you've enjoyed this episode, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and share it with a fellow golfer. And if you're looking for more, click on the links below to enroll in the Ultimate Golf Fitness Program, a 12-week progressive course to help you improve mobility, strength, and power in your game. And you can now take the Ultimate Golf Fitness Program anywhere with the Ultimate Golf Fitness Program book. Click below to order yours today.